So now how do you determine the size of the cell? What you need to know is that an exterior end of the triangle is actually equal to the sum of the opposite interior angle. So when you add this one to that one to give us that. So the question now is what the size of this end? We need to determine the size. So now this angle and that angle are vertically opposite angles, meaning that they are equal. Was vertically opposite angles are equal. So this is 55. And what is 55 degrees as well? So now we will need to add these two for us to find that. So we can say um, FCD is equal to 70 degrees plus 55 degrees. So in your FCD is equal to when you add these two. So FCD is equal to 125. Okay, so let's look at how you can solve the problem that has to do with simultaneous equations. So there are three methods that you can apply to solve simultaneous equations. There may be other more, but uh, at grade 9 level, the most applicable, the most used method is the elimination method. So for you to apply an elimination method, you have to check for coefficients that are equal. So you check, this side we have the 1, here we have the 3 as coefficients. And here we have the 1, we have the 1. So now, if you happen to find equal coefficients, what you need to do is eliminate them. Now how do you eliminate them? You check for the signs that are before. So since the signs are the same, we are subtracting, which contradicts the laws of algebra. Then the coincidence the of subtracting when the signs are, are, are the same is so as to eliminate those equal coefficients. So when you subtract here, you have to subtract that, you have to subtract that. So when you subtract, what will be the answer here? It will be B minus B. So here, we are going to eliminate those two. So now what we have here is a minus 3a and this one will give us minus 2a which is equal to then 5 minus 3 that will be a 2. Our interest is to find the value of a so we need to divide both sides by negative 2 and a will be negative 1. 2 there, 1, 2 there, 1. There is a negative here which is not cancelled with any other negative. So the value of a is negative 1. How about the value of b? You need to know that spontaneous equations have two answers. So now how do you determine the other value? You simply pick on one of the two equations. So I'm picking on the first equation. a plus b is equal to 5. Then since we have determined the value of a, I will simply plug it in the equation. So where there is a? I will write its value which is negative 1 plus b is equal to 5. We want b to be solved into the formula. So what should we do is we add the additive inverse of positive 1. And what we do this side is what we do on the other side. So these two will give us a 0 because then we have negative 1 plus 1. When you add those numbers with different signs, the answer is 0. So this will be a 0. So we'll remain with a b and 5 plus 1 will be 6. So we can say therefore a is equal to negative 1 and b is equal to 6. So that's how you were expected to solve that.